All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron Michael Eschenberg here. Honest Dane bringing you some Honest Astrology for June 8th, Saturday. Getting into our weekend. We got the moon at the later degrees of Leo. We have Venus at the last degrees of her home sign in Taurus. Okay, making this ending connection with Saturn and Pluto in the south node before she moves into Gemini tomorrow on Sunday. Yeah. And then the moon is going to move into Virgo. So it's like we're getting the work done. You know, we're putting the work in. It's not just uh, hanging out all Saturday at the beach. We're getting things done today, right? So let's go to the chart and kind of look at it all together. So here we go. We've got, look at this. Here's the moon right here, the later degrees of Leo. Going to make this nice trine here. So we've got a lot of energy as, as, as you know, this is the year of expansion. I've been saying that for months now. This is the year of expansion, right? Everything has always been pointing up here to Jupiter and to Neptune. And these are our two planets of expansion. Okay, so we've got the moon connecting. Beautiful, beautiful connection, adding a lot of fire like, hey, you've got it, man. You've, you've got the energy. You've got this figured out. You know what's going on here, you know. You, you have the confidence to move through to this next step and you have the confidence to, you know, like this centaur to go over the mountain range, to, to go to this next place in the journey, wherever it is, however, you know, you, you can get there, you know. And we've got Mars here. Our planet of action is making this quincunx, you know, that 5 twelfths aspect quincunx. It's a bit of an annoying aspect. Uh, we've got two quincunxes happening. We've got the sun also creating this quincunx to all of this gunk up here. You know, all of this, this is our great release that's happening this year. All of this transformation and restructuring happening in Capricorn. And the sun in Gemini is like, look, there's all kinds of information. All kinds of information. You're getting both sides of it. I'm not leaving any information out. You're getting, you're getting both sides of the coin. You know, take it for what it is. Take it, all of it. Take all of it in. And then figure out from there on, on how to, to deal with it, you know. It's like we can't just look at just the pros and follow that or look at just the cons. You know, it's, it's like your positive mind will lead you into, you know, your positive mind will lead you across the street into oncoming traffic without looking both ways. Because it's just like, yeah, I'm on a mission. I'm going. And then your negative mind will make sure that you never take a step off of the sidewalk. Right. So we have to find our own internal balance between these two, because one's going to say yes, go. And one's going to say, no, I, don't, I don't know the dangers that are out there. Right. So we have we have um, we have a balance that we need to pay attention to today to 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 understand of when when to go, when to make those moves. And to further, when when the moon's going to move into Virgo, this is like getting the work done. You know, it's being very specific. Like we have a lot of fire right now in the, in the first half of the day. A lot of fire energy to like, okay, be motivated. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get going, get out, go do things. So it's not like, you know, Friday night's not ruining our Saturday morning. You know, you're not getting too drunk on a Friday that Saturday's like, oh, you know, it's just like a pretty active, a pretty active day. And then here, let's come back here real quick. This, this to me is, is a really beautiful aspect. This, this, well, you really can't, it's, it's the trine. This is not showing up here because of how I have the, this chart set up, but these are still aspecting each other specifically, you know, to this, to this Pluto right here. This is still within the seven degrees. This is a trine. Again, it's not set up here this way. I think I have it eight or nine degrees is what creates the aspect, but this is this great release and let go. Okay. This is Venus being home and saying, you know, what is our moon? What is what is our what do we need here? We need to express ourselves. We need to go have fun. We need to be ourselves. We need to be this bright shining sun, this bright ball of light. That's not dimming our light down for anyone, you know, respectfully so. So we this is what we need. And what do we want over here? We want stability. We want, you know, we want this comfortable old self. We want what we've had for a long time 
And that's just not going to happen. And that's what this trine, again, we can't see it, but that's what this trine here up to Pluto is like, no, you are in the midst of this great change, this midst of this great transformation. And this quincunx here to the sun is just like, yeah, all of this information is coming in and you're going to get both sides of it. You're getting the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. So you, you're not going to be able to just stay here in your little pretty comfort zone, you know? Uh, none of us are. None of us are are staying in this little comfort zone. You know, great, great, great change is, in, is ahead of us. So that's where we're at on this Saturday. And then, boom, once the moon hits Virgo, it's just like, okay, it's getting very specific. We've been very wishy-washy, you know, and especially with, with Mercury hitting Cancer, entering into Cancer, and creating this square to Chiron, to Chiron over there in, 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 in Aries, which is self, okay? So it's just like emotionally, we need to, we need to uh, move in the direction, we need to think in the direction of how we can heal our own selves, of thinking that we're not good enough, great enough, smart enough, able, capable, you know, it's like, here, I am a, you know, I have two working arms, two working legs, all of my digits work, you know, my eyes work, but yet I can still look at a perfectly bright, sunny, beautiful day and see problems instead of seeing it for what it is. You know what I mean? There's so many layers. It's like emotional layers. So with Mercury, our planet of, you know, our intellect, and our communication entering into cancer, the watery sign, our emotional sign, creating this this square. This is turbulence, you know, this is this is not an easy aspect. So it's just like we're all being, you know, it's just like we're we're going through the mud. We're we're bringing this stuff up and saying, like, oh, what is it that makes me feel this way? What is it? And it's just like, ah, my moon, I need to express myself. I need to be free of this. I need to shake this up and change and you need to create the space to create the change you know so today's the last day that venus is going to be able to create that change that deep deep rooted because when it comes to taurus taurus again is the most stable grounded earth sign it's the most stable stubborn sign in the entire zodiac and and it's like uh, no no comfort zone we have to we have to transform this like it can still be a bed but we're getting a new mattress, we're getting a new box spring, we're getting, you know, or we're reinventing. Maybe we don't know how it's going to be yet. Maybe we don't know what kind of bed spring, or, you know, it's the new purple. Or it, maybe it's a bed of nails. We're recreating it, you know. So, <laughs> whether it's a bed of nails or the new purple mattress or whatever it is, we're recreating this. And it's not going to be the most comfortable but that's what creates the most change. So happy Saturday, my friends. I hope you enjoy it, creating good change, putting the work in, expressing yourself, being free, and doing the job. We'll see you tomorrow.